What's up there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Um, just as the title says, it says Mysterious Rock Appears Near Mars Rover Opportunity. Um, we'll check that out. And also, you know me, guys, i got to check this rock out myself. i got to know, uh, and I'm going to explain to you why. But let's just jump right into it. This is from RT, or Russia Today. Um, they have this on their site, as you can see. Um, and I love this because it says, question more. And you should. Uh, Mysterious Rock Appears Near Mars Rover Opportunity. And then it's got the caption here. Uh... NASA Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity used its front hazard identification camera to capture this wide-angle view of its robotic, robotic arm extended to a rock and a bright tone layer inside Victoria Crater. And, of course, the image credit goes to NASA JPL Caltech. An odd-looking bit of rock mysteriously appeared in front of the Opportunity Rover in the beginning of January as the rover, waiting out the Martian winter, um, has not moved since the end of November, according to NASA. The rock suddenly appeared on photographs taken by Opportunity Mars rover on Sol, you know, the Martian day, 3540, or January 8th, Earth time, according to NASA's website. And you can click right on that. I'm going to give you the links anyway, guys. But, you know, if you, if you just want to, you know, if you just want to click on this link and immediately go to that, um, it will give you the actual, in fact, I'll do it right here. And you can see it takes you right to the actual picture. There's your rock. Okay. Um, so, and then, uh, let me see where we're at. Um, photographs previously taken on Sol 3536 showed no trace of the rock. The body was named Pinnacle Island according to uh, Opportunity's PanCam database descriptions. Um, and as you can see right here, it's got the two pictures. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, they have uh, the Discovery Sparkle debate among bloggers with uh, various suggestions of the rock's origin. Among some of the wildest suggestions was the theory that it is a meteorite and it literally fell from the sky and landed next to the rover, according to the Road to Endeavor blog. Or that the rock is a piece of ejecta, a piece of Martian rock, which landed here after being blown out of the ground by a meteorite, uh, yeah, meteoroid rather, impact. While more believable theories said the rock was something kicked up by the opportunity on its Sol 3540 turn, according to Midnight Planet's uh, blog. Um, I don't believe that, guys. It's not like the opportunity is doing 100 miles an hour. It's going to kick this thing up. It's a good-sized rock, too, according... I mean, if you look at the size of the opportunity... And you look at the size of this rock, it's a good size, and it's, you know, you expect stuff to be kicked up if it's doing like, you know, 100 miles an hour. Um, uh, you know, maybe not that fast, I'm just exaggerating, but you get the idea. Um, on January 7th, the rover turned to the new target, to a new target rather, Cape Elizabeth, which would be the rock underneath Pinnacle Island, which is that little rock. And this is the close-up of the rock. And I, again, I just, I see this and I just flag BS. Now, it could very well be a rock, um, but it looks like it's like pretty clear here, and then it goes right to mush and looks like crap up here and then you look at the back it looks relatively clear so um, i don't know um close up uh close up of pinnacle island the fascinating rock which opie has spotted okay um and then and then it goes on to talk about more and there's a couple of comments on the bottom and you know so on and so forth but when you click on this picture here it's got the two side by side you, you end up over here which is a flicker and it's on flicker.com but they also make another uh uh thing that i've seen here first of all you got and I see this is the first picture I saw. It was the side by side right here. But I also noticed down here that this rock is different. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like this rock, this part of the rock right here, is right here. You can see the shape of it and everything. It's right there. Okay, even the little tiny hump right there. But this piece is taken out. It's gone. Now that I'm looking right here, why does it look like there's like this weird little gully, like there's a runoff or something like that, right on the side of it? See, it like it would be right there. There's this, these two rocks and this bigger rock, these two rocks, and here it is. It's like it goes up, goes right here, comes up in this right here, and goes across these two little rocks. But this little one's not here. So I'm saying, well, I don't see this there either. Now is it possible that the uh, the rover actually did a scoop to analysis the dirt? That's possible, but. I don't see that dug out. That rock is not like, you know what I mean? Like if you would like take a, you know, even a backhoe and like pull out something, you're going to see a spot where a rock was sitting. Um, small or large, you're still going to see where it was sitting. So um, I, I thought that was kind of weird. I mean, um, this is a good one here, but it's not what we're looking for. And you can see how they circled it right here. The other thing is too, is this little thing right here, I'd like to think of it as like the um, our stealth fighter, like a miniature stealth fighter shape, just a shape. Um, See how like it looks more defined in this picture here? I don't know if you can see that, but right there, it looks like it's more defined. I don't know if they did this with this line, although it looks thinner, if that's true. Um, but you can see right there, it just has that... It doesn't look really defined there, but it looks more defined. Maybe, I think it's because of the lighting. Because if you notice, this is more... The one on the right is more clockwise taken. 
This one here is more to the left. And this is the other thing, too. I don't know if you guys know it, but these two little rocks right next to this other rock, um, they're, they're close to each other right here. They're actually right next to each other. These are further apart. Now, because this picture on the right has been taken more clockwise, so, I mean, the rover could have backed up or just moved forward and or just completely backed up and then took a picture of it. I don't know. Um, but, you know, regardless, they're apart. Now, if this was taken, this picture here, if it was more counterclockwise, these would actually appear closer. You know what I mean? Um, but or, or wider apart, but they're not. The picture's actually counter, I mean, it's more clockwise and more to the right, and these, you'd think these would be closer. I don't know. I'm seeing a difference. I'm seeing these two are different, and it's just weird. But anyway, another thing I wanted to show you guys, too, is that this has, I keep going to this one here. Um, so I looked at this bottom rock, and I'm, I'm just puzzled by why this looks so different. It just, you know, I see those right there. This is right here. This looks weird. It looks like some kind of little, kind of like hook type thing right there. I don't see, you know, guys, if you see that. But this right here, I can't find this picture. This one is readily available on the site. You can find that, uh, no problem. But that's pretty neat. So now it leads all kinds of speculation because here's the thing. Um, you know, where did the rock come from? Is it a rock? Is it? Um, you know, I don't know. It's it's just weird because how did this thing get there? Um, you know, no matter what it is, whether it's a rock or something else, how did this thing get there? It just suddenly appears there? Um, but for some reason, guys, you know me. Now, here's a good example. Why blur this out or, like, docking it? But yet when it comes to this picture showing the rock, it's, like, super bright right here. I mean, it, you know, is it, like, is it, like a direct sun ray coming directly down on this particular rock area? Come on. Um, here it is right here. Look. Now, it just seems to be brighter right here more than the rest of these around it. See it? And right off the bat, I, I yeah, I, I just think there's something up. And now, I want to show you guys something. You guys could tell me what you think this stuff is. It appears, again, like there's more molted pots here. Um, I mean, you guys can make your own decisions and tell me what you think. Um... But, like I said, this, for some reason, I'm just seeing, like, different lines and circles and stuff just coming down. And there's another thing right here, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is pretty wild. Um, on closer inspection, if you look at this thing, look at this little line, this swiggly line right here. It goes into, like, a square inside whatever this supposed other uh, piece is. Um, let me see what it said here. Um, well, I'm not going to find it there. Uh, let me see. Let me go here. Go back. Um, well, it's in Victoria Crater near it. That's for sure. Um, up to Pinnacle Islands. Yep. Uh, okay, Cape Elizabeth is going towards there. Or th that's what it's actually Cape El Elizabeth, which is which would be the rock underneath Pinnacle Island, which is this little thing right here. Okay, that's what I was trying to remember. I wasn't sure, and I didn't want to just say you know whatever. Um, but I'll, I'll give you guys the, the link to that, and you can you can tell me. But anyway, this, I mean, look at, I mean, you can just see this, this like, now, don't get me wrong, I am zoomed in. You know, most people's arguments will be, well, you're so zoomed in, of course it's going to be pixelated. Okay, this is still fudged out. And I'm going to show you something that just doesn't make sense to me. Because, again, look how bright these are. There's a reason why they brighten these pictures up. And I was just looking at this, and I just thought this was pretty wild. Now I'm going to just go ahead and equalize it, and... Now, right off the bat, you start to see a little bit more. You can see, like, some more uh, detail, so to speak. But this is what I was tr trying to explain. Like, this right here going to this little square area. See how, like, you don't really see much? And because I'm zoomed in, now I'm pointing it out to you. Now you see that. But if you didn't think to look at that, you would never, you know, be none the wiser. Um, this is what kind of struck me, too. Look at these right here. One, two, three, four in a row. There's something here that's round. You can see it right here. And it comes over here, and there's another little thing right here, and whatever this is, I don't know. Um, and there's some other things here that will blow your mind, too. I, I looked at something up here, which is, I don't know if it was in here. I think it was right here. And I looked at, I just, I'm just seeing these lines, and, all, and it just kind of struck me odd. But, all right. So, let's blur this up a little bit. Okay. Now, you can see this right here. Okay, it comes up, it comes over, and goes down, and goes in into this little square box. Now, what this is, now this is going to get more bizarre because it actually looks like there's a couple of different pipes right here. Up at the top near this little rock, this little pinnacle island, so to speak. And there's something right there sticking out of it or near it. Um, there's actually more pieces, like this round piece goes across, 
Looks like a wider piece right here. I mean, it's just wild, man. Um, okay, so now we're going to invert this. And this is, like I said, by inverting, you're going to pull the lines out. And you're going to get rid of this. You're going to change this brightness to darkness. And this is where the details come out. Um, and I want to show you this right here. Okay. Um, if you look at this right here, I mean, it's not very clear, but you'll see it. First of all, to the left here, look at this. There's one thing right here. And it's kind of buried, but there's something coming out of it going across. See that right there? It looks like it's got an arch type thing, and it's got like some kind of little something or other there, some kind of details to it. But right here, there's that round thing. It comes all the way over here, comes down. But look at this. Boom. Connects to this one. It's round. Connects to this one. Okay. Here's that little, I'm going to call it a wire, for lack of better word, because I really honestly don't know what this thing is. Comes up, goes down. Look at this. All the way down. But here's the wild part. It actually comes down from here, all the way down to here, and then down to here. This one comes up, goes right in here, goes into here. Um, this is round, comes all the way down to here. See it? It's got these weird pieces coming off. Here's that other pipe. There's one that's right here. Or some kind of round cylindrical thing. See it? And it looks like it stops right there. I don't know what that is. See it? So I don't know if this is, you know, somebody might say this is a Coke can or something. I don't know. Um, I didn't really inspect it. In fact, I'm going to do this for you guys. I'm going to I'm gonna back up here a little bit. And you guys, the ones that used a magnifier, I didn't even think they used a magnifier. I just got into this picture myself. So I didn't look at it myself. But look at this yourself. It kind of looks like a size of a Coke can or some kind of weird thing. Um, some kind of little cylindrical thing, whatever it is, it's definitely sticking out. I mean, there's, there's no two ways about it. Um, it's right there. And there's something leaning up against it, but there's, you can actually see the backside of this right here. There's some kind of weird thing right here. But you can just see there's like intricate pots in here. It's just really wild. Now I'm going to throw some color in here just for the heck of it. Um, let me see if we can shrink that down a little bit. A little too long. Um, we'll throw some color into it because sometimes that makes things pop just a hair bit better. Um, but you just look. I mean, it's just, like I said, just look at the little details. You've got to just look really deep into these things because you can see... What looks like either wires or some kind of details to whatever this is. And now that little box, see how it's like right here, it's dark going into that? Well, now it's going to be light because we reversed the, the actual thing. But it's in the picture regardless. See it? So no matter how you look at this thing, it's there. Here's the other details. And like I said, they try to hide this by really, really brightening this thing up. There's something else right here. I don't know what that is. It's like it's inside something. See that? Um, there's another one here. It looks like it's kind of connected to this one. Let me back up again so you guys can actually look this picture over. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm just going to freeze it here. So now you guys want to freeze it any way you want and just look at this thing with your uh, uh, magnifiers. In fact, I'm going to go to 50%. Guys, take a look at this thing. Tell me what you think it is. Um, me personally, they look like melted pots. They look like they're just detailed pots that have just come apart or just melted into this. Um, and pretty cool stuff here. All right, let me jump over to this other one. This is what I thought was weird, too. This is the one I, I, I call it the spider um, because it's a lack of better word I can find for it. Um, this right here struck me weird because look at this. One running off, two, there's actually three, four, five, six faintly. But you see another one here. Here they, they branch off, and I'm going, okay, why does that look like that? Like there's some kind of details in it. Well, because there is. Um, now, you'll see this in a second. Watch. See now it's just starting to pop out a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now, when we avert, we'll actually see, get rid of the brightness, and we'll be able to see what's really under this. Okay. Now, you look at this thing. Look at the way this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like, okay. And then it's like branches off, and there's a little one going off. Another one right here going off. Another one right here going off. Look at this. Again. Again. I mean, it's just got like this. I call it the spider because that's what it looks like. It looks like this weird spider feature thing. I don't even know what the heck you'd call it, but nonetheless, it's there. Um, here's that other thing on the left of this rock. Um, I mean, guys, tell me what you think this stuff is. I mean, I just, like I said, any time they do this, I automatically believe that they're hiding something. Now, is this just trickery of the eye? All this stuff that's in here? I mean, you could just see this connecting stuff, and is it just, look at this, just weird. I mean, does that look like a simple rock? Even when we put it back, you can still see it going up. The stuff right here, look at it, like a U-shape or whatever this is, and you can see it right there. People say, well, you're inverted. That's why you're the one to manipulate it. That's why, you know, you're making something look like, you know, into that's nothing look like something. No, I'm, I'm simply just changing it to to be better to the eye so you can see this better. Um, 
And like I said, you can see these things connect. This right, I, at first I thought this was a carving in this rock right here. It's not. See how it looks like it might be just like some kind of carving. There's a picture right in here. No. Once you look on the other side of this, you can see it's some kind of tube or wire or I don't know what that is, but see it? Okay, and then it comes, like I said, these come down and these goes up. All right. So, you know, guys, you tell me what you think this stuff is. I mean, in fact, I want to drop this here, go to 100%, because I didn't do that so you guys can really analyze this picture. Um, you guys can tell me what you think this stuff is. I personally don't think um, that's a rock either, and I'll tell you why. Because, I mean, if you go and you get up real close to this thing, you can see, like, looks like little things coming off of it. Um, like, like right here, um, it's, it, you know, it's just, uh, it's just weird because, let me see this right here. Okay. Um, somebody just sent me a text here. Sorry about that, guys. I'll shut that phone off. Um, but anyway, the, um, so now I've got, you know, I'm seeing this here, but looks like it, look at it, I mean, it just looks like fake, like something's drooping off of it, or it's something they did. But either way, even in the regular picture, it looks like these little weird things coming off of this. Now, when you invert this, See how you can just see, like, little traces of, like, little things that, little pieces in it. Like, there's something round right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but let me colorize it. There's, like, a little round thing right here. Little things sticking out. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, now, don't get me wrong. I don't know how this thing got there, but it's there. Um, it, yeah, that's the big question for everybody to, to, you know, because that's, I don't get it either. But regardless, guys, hey, give, give it a look. Let me tell you, you know, you guys can tell me. I told you what I thought it was. You guys can tell me. I thought that was pretty cool, and the fact that the uh, NASA, I mean, it's more puzzling because the fact that NASA is actually showing this uh, makes you puzzle there. I don't know if somebody, two options, I think. Either some somehow they, um, somebody seen this first and mentioned it to them, and they decided to, hey, let's do something about this and try to hide it or whatever, or just act like we're just going to just come out with this, or um, uh, there's another reason why they're doing it. I mean, I don't know. Um I mean, that's just speculation, but you guys could give me your take on it. I mean, you know, pretty much. But I think I figured I'd just bring this to you guys. You guys can tell me what you thought it was. Um, I thought it was pretty neat either either way. Uh, my buddy, um, like I said, my buddy Carlos, he's the one that sent that to me uh, a few days ago. It was on the 15th, I believe, on my Facebook. And he sent that to me. We've been friends for like, uh, you know, you know, since we were in our early teens. So he sent that to my Facebook. And, um, you know, he said, hey, dude, you got to check this out. And sure in hell, you know, it's, it's there. Uh, so... You know, I appreciate him doing that for me, you know, because he's right on top of this stuff, too. He's he's not into this, you know, um, you know, all of this, you know, theories and all this other stuff. He just reads, and he just he's a pretty intelligent guy. And, uh, you know, he's pretty much all over this stuff. So, you know, he's pretty good about that, so i got to thank him for that. He's the one that uh, threw it on my page. I usually check this uh, RT uh, site quite often, but um, I didn't do it lately, and um, thankfully he did. So, anyway, guys, give me your take on it. Let me know what you guys think. Just figured I'd share it with you. With that... Uh, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you next pick.